The following is a guide to help troubleshoot common 3D digital cinema projection problems. You should always, first and foremost, follow your theater owner's instructions. Welcome to 3D Digital Cinema! The following will guide you through the steps of a 3D presentation. Hello again, Jimmy! Step 1. Ingest the DCP into the server. If you are unfamiliar with this process, refer back to video 1, the ingest, for instructions. Step 2. Ingest the KDM into the server. It's important to check that you are using the appropriate KDM to unlock your 3D DCP, as the keys are specifically made to unlock that specific server. If you're unfamiliar with KDM ingestion, refer back to video 2, key delivery message, for instructions. Step 3. Set up the server for 3D content. The following will teach you how to set up a DoReMe server, an Access IT DoReMe server, a Dolby Digital server, a QViz server, a GDC server, and a Kodak server for 3D playback. First, on a stock DoReMe server, go to Menu. Then select DoReMe Labs Incorporated folder, and then click Macro Editor. Once in the editor, click the plus sign to create a macro. Name the macro Force 48 and click OK. Now you're going to have to create an action for that macro. To do this, click Insert a New Action and then Video Output Action. Click on the Dropbox and select Play All Clips at 48 FPS. Click the Save button and enter your password. Now you're going to need to create another macro to get the server out of 48 frames mode. Again, click on the plus button and name the macro back to Force24. Click on the plus button, video output action. Make sure the setting is default video output. Again, make sure you save the macro. To build a playlist for these macros, Go to Menu, and then Cine Lister. First, add your first piece of 2D content, a trailer, for example. Now add the Force 48 to the playlist. Note that the content, i.e. the trailer, must always be added to the playlist before you apply the macro to it. In the box that pops up, select from the beginning of the clip. After you add your rating card, add the Force24 macro to the playlist. In the box that pops up, select from the end of the clip and click OK. Finally, save your playlist. Your server is now ready to go. Before you play the 3D show, however, you must configure your projector. These steps will be covered later in the video. If you have a DoReMe Access IT server, go to the menu, then Show Editor. Make the new show and name it. First, add your 2D content to the playlist. Now, go to the Cues tab. Here you'll find a list of pre-built macros. Find the selection named 48 frames per second mode. Drag it to the front of the playlist. You must always add content to the playlist before you add any macros. A box will pop up. Select the blank box and hit OK. You should see a circle with an arrow above it on that playlist if you did the function correctly. 
Your server is now configured for 2D and 3D playback. You can now add the rest of your 2D and 3D content into the playlist in any order you choose. If you're unfamiliar with creating a playlist, refer back to video 3, building a playlist, for instructions. However, before you play this show, you must configure your projector. These steps will be covered later in the video. If you have a Dolby Digital server, you can simply set up your 3D playlist as you would normally set up your 2D playlist. Before you play the 3D show, however, you must configure your projector. These steps will be covered later in this video. If you have a QGIS server, you can simply set up your 3D playlist as you normally would any 2D playlist. The QGIS server will auto-detect the 3D content. Before you play the 3D show, however, you must configure your projector. This will be covered later in this video. If you have a GDC server, you can simply set up your 3D playlist as you would normally set up your 2D playlist. Your GDC server will auto-detect the 3D content. Before you play the 3D show, however, you must configure your projector. These steps will be covered later in this video. If you have a Kodak server, you can simply set up your 3D playlist as you normally would any 2D playlist. Your Kodak server will auto-detect the 3D content. Before you play the 3D show, you must configure your projector. These steps will be covered later in this video. Step 4. Check your playlist. Double-check your playlist order against the projectionist card supplied by the Friendly Studio. Always make sure that you put your 3D glasses card in the playlist before you put any 3D content into the playlist. Step 5. Configure your projector for 3D playback against the projectionist card that came with the DCP. In this video, we will discuss two 3D systems, Real D and Dolby. If your theater uses a different system, refer to your system integrator for help. On a Real D system, slide the Z screen in front of the projector lens. Make sure all the light from the projector lens is going through the Z screen. Then check the Real D interface box. It'll tell you if the Z screen is functioning properly. If you have a Dolby Digital server, scroll across to the fifth icon that looks like the sun. Go down to playback mode. You will have three choices. If you have a Dolby Modified Projector, select Dolby 3D. To activate your Dolby Modified Projector, find the Filter Controller and push Enable. When the green indicator lights are solid, this will let you know the projection system is working. Step 6. Check your projector's calibration. First, load the Disney Digital 3D alignment chart. Did you get it, Jimmy? Now, make sure the picture is in 3D. To do this, grab a pair of 3D glasses. Look in the bottom left corner for the white box that reads left eye only. Now, close your right eye while looking at the box and make sure the words left eye only remain visible. If you can't see the text with your right eye closed, your projector is out of phase. Contact your supervisor for help. Is your projector in phase? Awesome, dude. Then, let's check light levels, Jimmy. Refer back to the alignment chart. Look at the white dot in the center of the chart. Your light level should be between 3.5 and 5.5 foot lamberts. Now, make sure you're in the correct aspect ratio. The picture should be either flat or scope. If you aren't familiar with these terms, refer back to video 4. To make sure the picture is in the correct aspect ratio, look at the borders of the alignment chart. The green lines on the left and right, as well as the yellow lines at the top and bottom, should be visible. If you see any red borders, contact your supervisor for help. Finally, do a quality check. Grab a seat in the theater and watch the entire feature. Make sure you bring a pen and a pad to take notes on any technical problems with the presentation. If you find the presentation commercially acceptable, you're good to go. 
If you encounter any problems, write them down and contact your supervisor for help. Step seven, feel special. You've just successfully set up your server and projector to play back 3D content. And remember, if you experience any problems and you cannot solve them within 15 minutes, call for help. If you have an orange box, call Technicolor at 1-800-99-FILMS or 1-800-993-4567. If you have a yellow box, call Access IT at 1-888-367-2360.